Well, the Alaska man has been on trial for the past few weeks. The question is, was it a botched robbery that led to a triple murder or a matter of self-defense? After nearly 10 weeks of testimony, a jury has begun deliberations in the second murder trial of Anthony Pisano. Lauren Maxwell brings us details from today's closing arguments. The shootings happened at a precious metals business in Spinard called Bullion Brothers. Before that September day would end, three men would be shot dead. The state says one man did it all. In truth, there's only one murderer, ladies and gentlemen, and it's Mr. Pisano. Anchorage District Sorry, Attorney Brittany Dunlop showed the jury pictures of the men who were murdered, while the accused, Anthony Pisano, looked on. She described how Pisano, who was friends with the store's owners, Stephen Cook and Michael Dupre, was also heavily in debt. Dunlop said Pisano planned to rob the store, so he turned off the store's security cameras, shot Cook, and then killed two other men, Kenneth Hartman and Daniel McCready, when they rushed to the scene from a different part of the building after hearing gunshots. Both Kenneth Hartman and Daniel McCready were killed because they were witnesses. They were killed out of acts of desperation by the defendant. They were not killed in self-defense. But Pisano's attorney called the state's robbery theory ridiculous. He said Cook told Pisano to turn off the security camera so they could discuss business. And although Pisano wasn't dead, his attorney says he had plenty of other opportunities to rob the store, but never did. The, the, the debt, particularly unsecured debt, doesn't make Mr. Pisano a robber, much less a murderer. And, and the fact of the matter is, not that I even want to entertain this thought, but he could have stolen from the... Uh, Bullion brothers with, frankly, with impunity. Pisano does admit killing the two other men, but says he did it in self defense, believing they were armed and that his life was in danger. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source. Make sure to download the Alaska News Source app to get the latest updates on this trial as the jury works toward a verdict.